Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, to answer a question which is interesting, and that was, of course, um, asked um, a couple of days ago when we started talking about Android security. It's the question about, in the case of an outdated operating system, is a which one is the most dangerous the uh, smartphone or the uh, a pc running windows for example um, which one would be more of a problem with an operating system that doesn't have security updates anymore um, so this question it depends exactly how you use your devices if you use the smartphone the way that is intended to be used that is you actually only get apps from the Google Play Store or in the case of an iPhone, the uh, Apple App Store. Um, if you follow that rule, if you don't connect to public Wi-Fi, like I said, you should not. Um, things like that, well, you're probably more secure on an outdated smartphone than you are on a PC. Uh, and that of course, as to play with the fact that you are really following the rules. And the PC, the reason the PC is less secure than a smartphone that's outdated has to do mostly with the fact that most of us don't use an app store on a PC to install apps. So we have to go out there, get a program or, or software, download it, install it. That actually adds risks because you have to make sure that you're getting it from the right source, which is not the case when you download it from an app store. So technically, an outdated PC is more dangerous than a outdated smartphone. Um, a iPhone will be even more secure in general than an Android phone because it is more closed down system. Uh, Android is closer in relation to Windows in the fact that it's a system that you can pretty much operate and and install, you know, we could sideload apps, we could do so many things on Android that are not available on an iPhone. So technically, by order of importance, the iPhone would be the most secure, even if it's outdated. Although you got to follow rules, you got to be careful and don't connect to Wi-Fi, the public Wi-Fi's, because you can get bitten and every device that's outdated is a dangerous device. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying that you can still easily and, and without any problem use outdated devices. Here's what is important to know is that outdated devices are dangerous. And there's a lot of cases of uh, malware getting into devices without the user knowledge um, because it just, you know, used a security flaw from a system. Once again, if the apps don't update anymore, you just don't use it anymore. You cannot use a operating system that has uh, apps that cannot be used. You know, if you do banking and your banking app says that there's no more updates for the operating system you're using, well, you got to move on because now you are at a huge risk. And anyways, that app will probably stop working at some point. But uh, yeah, you're technically probably more secure on a smartphone than on a Windows PC. But, you know, bottom line, outdated operating systems equal more risk anyways. But, you know, in the world we have today, and that's the problem, is the manufacturers that stop supporting devices. And that is a big problem. And that should actually be addressed in regulations where there should be a minimum of, you know, we could easily, especially for the price that they sell these devices, you could easily tell manufacturers you got to support it for five years minimum. Um, that would be, I think, a a, a honest minimum. Uh, when you look at you know PCs running Windows can be supported for so so long, thanks to Windows or Microsoft Windows running for such a long time. Um, there's no reason for smartphones to not follow that rule and have the possibility of getting security updates for at least five years after they are sold, or they actually they, they come out, you know. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.